the mic again? Well, let's just all visit. Forget the TV show. I'm so sorry to keep you out standing here in the sun, and they have changed the mic three times. I can't imagine what it is about me, but best hair. <laughs> best hair. <laughs> well, really, what a great crowd, right? They always bring great attitude, great noise. So I'm here with my buddy Ty, and Ty never goes anywhere without literally getting involved in a community project. And you've built over the years a network of people that can help you out in like any uh, it, any problem you come up with from garden to house to home, right? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, with my job, you know, it takes me to so many different communities, and that means wherever you are, you sort of still have those contacts. And so, yeah, we were able to pull together uh, a lot of great talent, really cool, talented people, but also a lot of people from this community just wanted to be involved. Yeah, all you have to do is ask, and, and the neighbors come out, you yeah, know, yeah. with all their different talents and skills. Now, we were talking about a lot that, that sat vacant for over 30 years. Let's pick up with the rest of that story. Check it out. Six inches of gravel, filter fabric, then the soil. That's exactly right. All right, guys, all of our vegetables are here. It's time to get planting, finally. Now that we have our plants in, what we want to do is put down a one to two inch layer of mulch. Now, mulch is very important because it's going to keep the moisture in, and it's also going to keep the weeds down. Everything is almost done. All the construction is done, and now we're just kind of doing those pretty little things. That's kind of putting the bow on the present. Looking very forward to uh, revealing this to Rachel and everyone else to see the hard work we put into this and all the dedication. I can't wait to see when it gets revealed, and I know that the neighborhood's going to like it. I'm very excited for this huge reveal, and the most important part is that it is a lot of work, and that's why it takes a community to put a project like this together. And you know, this is such a great affordable solution for a community too, because the time they put into the garden, they can take out their food. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and everybody gets to be involved. And uh, so, is this one of your friends down here? Yeah, that's hooking us up. Dean, Dean. Hey, Dean. Hi guys. Hi, Jess. Thank you. So, so, how are you? Uh, this is, this is Hi, Dean. Dean. How are you? Good, good. So, this is so beautiful. So, not to mention, we've also got the green roof too, which is which is a great way. Do you want to make sure people understood that, like any surface, whether it's you know the ground or even above ground, can become a green you know uh, a green surface where you can grow anything. You know, I don't know about you, but I love nothing more than to see this right here because this is what it's all about. Because now you guys know where your food comes from. Does it come from the grocery store? It comes from the garden, right? Yeah. So guys, what are you planting over here? It looks like you're planting different lettuces. What are we planting, guys? Starts with the Basil, and very basil. good. Basil. Right? Oh, you've got some beautiful sweet basil here. My favorite thing is really nice um, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and very cheese. Nice. There's yeah, we... nothing wrong with a little <laughs> macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Nice work. Oh, it is starting to smell good on the grill. Yeah, it is. Ty, you better go check and see how our grillers are doing over there. I think I will. We're going to take a quick break. Maybe we're going to check in on our grillers. We'll be right back. Perfect. How's them hands coming? You worry about your grilling. <laughs> 